discuss the topic how lymphocyte immunization therapy works or why is lymphocyte therapy effective why discuss this topic because this is the most common question asked by patients and the referring doctors i am dr mukta raut a practicing obstetrician and gynecologist with special interest in the field of reproductive immunology we have a center called dr raut center for reproductive immunology at santa cruz mumbai india where along with my husband my with dr mohan raut we treat couples of repeated pregnancy loss ivf failures and unexplained infertility with the help of lymphocyte immunization therapy and other passive immunomodulatory treatments to begin with let me tell you the story of asha on a sunday morning at 11 o'clock asha called us up from delhi she had been referred by her fertility consultant from delhi for lymphocyte immunization therapy to our center she had already undergone five ivf cycles at another center which were not successful before going in for the sixth cycle she asked her doctor what would be doing what the doctor would be doing differently which will help her to conceive when her doctor said that nothing different asha moved on to another fertility center here this doctor <clears throat> told her to do lymphocyte immunization therapy before starting their first ivf cycle so the question which was there in asha's mind is why lymphocyte immunization therapy and how will it work for me so because as i said every patient and doctor has this question it is very important for us to know how lymphocyte immunization therapy works and what are the underlying mechanisms to understand this we need to learn how the immune system works and how it plays an important role in normal pregnancies as we all know that our immune system is our body's uh, defense again any foreign invasion however immunological science has come to embrace a completely different arm of the immune system known as immunological tolerance this immunological tolerance is important for our body to prevent any attack on the self tissues or certain allogenic tissues now how is it decided whether the immune system is going to reject an antigen or it is going to accept an antigen or tolerate an antigen now this is decided right at the time of antigen presentation if the antigen are presented to the lymph nodes in a friendly manner they are going to be treated as normal and to be tolerated however if on the other hand the antigen is presented as a foe or an enemy there is going to be the immune rejection rejection and the antigen is going to be attacked now how is this decided this is decided based on certain dendritic cells the dendritic cells are very versatile cells which are present in the surface tissues of the body like the skin and other mucosal membranes and also in the uterine endometrium these dendritic cells first pick up the antigen they pick up the cue of how to present the antigen from the nature in which the antigen is presented they pick up the antigens they process it they take it to the secondary lymphoid organs like the lymph nodes and the spleen and then they present it to the appropriate t cells if they present it to the conventional t cells it is going to result in the immune attack and if they present the antigen in a friendly way 
to the T regulatory cells, it is going to result in immune tolerance. So it is seen in normal pregnancies that a pregnancy, which is a foreign tissue, which ideally we think being a foreign tissue should be destroyed, it is tolerated by the woman's body. So how is it tolerated? It is tolerated by humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. So what is humoral immunity? Humoral immunity or antibody response is with the help of the development of certain antibodies called the blocking antibodies, also known as the asymmetric antibodies, the cytotoxic antibodies, or the mixed lymphocyte reaction antibodies. Now, these antibodies are functionally univalent. That means they cannot, cannot attach well to the antibody. So the antigen-antibody uh, attachment is not strong and therefore there is no complement fixation and phagocytosis or eating up of the antigen which is responsible for immune rejection. It has been proved that a pregnant, a normal pregnant woman has, high, has asymmetric antibodies which are not seen in the non-pregnant women. The other way in which the pregnancy is tolerated is by the cell-mediated immunity, where the T regulatory cells have emerged as the central players. The T regulatory cells are important for the peripheral tolerance of any antigen. T regulatory cells increase in the blood around the time of ovulation and also around the time of endometrium. Uh, around in the endometrium. And it has been seen that in healthy pregnancies, the T regulatory cells have reached a particular level right up to delivery. So what are the mechanisms in a normal pregnancy which protect the pregnancy and take it to term? These pregnancies, the mechanisms are mainly the production of the asymmetric antibodies and the T regulatory cells. So any function which affects any reason which affects this is going to cause abnormal pregnancies. And it has been seen that in repeated pregnancy losses, in IVF failures and in unexplained infertility, the these asymmetric antibodies are not formed at all and also the T regulatory level, cell levels are not very great. So any mechanism which is going to help in the formation of the asymmetric antibodies or increase and or increase the level of the T regulatory cells is going to help in helping the patient to get a successful pregnancy. So let us see what is exactly done in LIT. In lymphocyte immunization therapy, fresh allogenic lymphocytes, that is, lymphocytes from any human being other than the patient herself, are injected into the skin of the patient to produce or to help the dendritic cells to help in the friendly introduction. Now, what are these markers on the lymphocytes which are present, which will help these lymphocytes, which, help, which will help the dendritic cells? David Clark has shown that CD200 surface markers which are present on the lymphocytes, which are taken up by the dendritic cells, help the dendritic cells to introduce the lymphocytes and the antigens in a friendly manner, thereby preventing immune rejection of a pregnancy. And also, these lymphocytes have to be injected intradermally or in the skin of the patient because that is where 
the dendritic cells are present. If you inject them intramuscularly or in the way, uh, intravenously, lymphocyte immunization therapy is not going to work. So how does lymphocyte immunization therapy act? Lymphocyte immunization therapy is known to increase the levels of the asymmetric antibodies as proven by Zenclusen et al. And also, lymphocyte immunization therapy alters the levels and the proper distribution of the T regulatory cells. It reduces the ratio of the Th1, Th2 cells reduces the NK cell cytotoxicity, and also it reduces the CD3- and the CD56 cells. So in summary, this deceptively simple lymphocyte immunization therapy, which is extremely safe without any side effects, if the technique is not done properly, it will fail to give its results. I'm sure all of you would like to know what happened to our patient from Delhi. Yes, this is basically what we had explained to her. She, after listening to this, she came to our center in Mumbai only once underwent lymphocyte immunization therapy, went home the same day, and she underwent IVFs in the center in Delhi. She conceived in the first cycle itself, and now she has twin, twin girls. Thank you. If you like this video, do follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. And you can also visit our website www.icprm.in. For any more information or to book an appointment, you can call our ICPRM helpline plus 9198. 33201522. Let me repeat the number plus 9198331522. And yes, don't forget to like and share this video. You never know who will be benefited by your sharing of this video. Thank you once again. Now it is time to go in for the questions. Yeah. Uh, there is one question from uh, Dr. Mohan Raut. Uh, yeah, Dr. Mohan Raut is our partner in Dr. Raut's Center for Reproductive Immunology. And uh, we work together for lymphocyte immunization therapy. His question is, how many times do you have to give the lymphocyte injections? Uh, it's a very important question. Uh, we give this lymphocyte injection only once. We do not give it multiple times like there are centers in India or abroad, there are centers abroad who are giving it every 15 days, but we give it only once. Uh, we have patented this technology and giving extremely good results. 